So this little mess is the uh, driven bag exclusive. Basically, this is the uh, the fly sheet, the tarp part, which is indeed reflective and has got an awesome granite camo. And that is the liner. It comes with two liners. This is the 60 gram per square meter Prima Loft. The liners are awesome. You can use them as blankets. You can use them as under quilts. They're just brilliant. Uh, one zipped in here, the thing becomes a awesome insulated poncho and so on. So I really, really like that. This is actually a smaller version of the driven bag that you've seen me use before. Uh, it's a lot lighter. It's, uh, it really only really has room for one person as opposed to two people on the other one. But for the summer it's better. And also the, um, the ability to zip out the liner. And there's also a heavier liner that I had with me in uh, Hardangavita, which I think is like, so this is 70, I think it's like 170 grams per square meter Prima Loft as well, so it's much warmer. But this is great for the summer. So, the Jervan Bag exclusive. So this is the uh, Jervan Bag liner. This is the light one, 60 grams per square meter. Currently using it as an under quilt in the sleeping bag. And the external part of the Jervan Bag, now without the insulation, provides my uh, fly sheet. So here's the setup uh, without the fly sheet, just with the um, liner of the Jervan bag here used as an underquilt. So again, this is the light liner. And basically what I've done, I uh, zip it here. This is attached with an elastic, uh, usually a little bit thicker than this, here to string. This is zipped shut. But the most important thing about this is that actually the, the opening of the underquilt and the opening of the hammock are aligned. And inside the hammock I just have a uh, my little three-quarter mat. And this thing, which is my uh, mountain serape, you've seen it before, just this multi-purpose uh, insulating thing. It's a... Uh, it's durable water repellent nylon. It's pretty warm. On its own it works as a sleeping bag down to about five degrees. So if you're clothed. So together with the the um, the liner it's really rather warm. Also this can be worn under a poncho. It can it replaces my or rather it means that I don't really have to take a warm coat with me. Any kind of unexpected uh, cold snap is really 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 rather easily managed. Especially when you think about the fact that the Jervan bag itself can be worn as a rain jacket and a rain poncho, and then that the liner also still fits. Um, it's just that the liner itself is not really quite enorm en enough warms for sleeping. Um, maybe sometime in the summer it will be, who knows. The, the insulation is that, together with the, the underquilt here. Of course, there's another option which would be because this is quite a lot of uh, free space in here. There is another option where we double the, um, the underquilt, so I will show you that next. Okay, so here you see uh, the Jervan bag now, the liner doubled, and it's uh, set out so around the, uh, the hammock as before, except that now we have two layers here. You have less coverage. Okay, so you, uh, that's just a different way, you need to maybe um, clip it a little bit here because of course you don't have the zip that allows you to, to close, so you might want to do a few little uh, pebble ties in here, just uh, grab a pebble, tie it in and uh, close it down. So I'll just show you how I do that, um, because of course the whole idea is to generate actually a, a full microclimate really rather simple. It's just a little piece of paracord and you just go find a little pebble or something like that, trap it in here with a slip knot, find another one, trap it in here with some a little adjustable knot and then basically when you get in you adjust it the way you want it and everything stays warm. So you can imagine this together with the uh, with the, the rain fly it's quite a nice option. 
if the weather is really, really bombastic, then of course you have to uh, totally enclose everything and set the thing up as a bunker. And I will just uh, show you now how we're going to do that. So this is the Jervenbag hammock uh, system in its most kind of buttoned up and bunker-like uh, configuration. So the hammock is inside here, the three-quarter um, thermorest, my wubby. The liner of the Jervenbag, bag, um, we've got it in a double fold around to make an underquilt. And now basically this is the, this is the sealer, this is the, the bunker. So I've got it with the, um, with the grommets at the top, with the zips down the bottom. Everything is buttoned up completely. So this is basically now a waterproof bag. Very important to have drip lines because obviously the rain and the wet will start coming down here and everything needs to have a drip line because otherwise you'll simply get soaked inside by the water uh, coming through. One problem with this setup of course is that this truly is completely waterproof which also means it's more or less airtight. Definitely not breathable at all so you're going to have some issues with it getting stuffy. A couple things you can do about that. Uh, one of course is that the thing has armholes which you can leave open. Um, what I do is, whenever I'm sleeping in the Jervan bag, once in a while I just do this huge great movement and refresh the air inside of it. Other things you can do of course is to um, is to open the, the zips at the bottom here and let some air through. You can uh, put a stick in between here to, uh, or you know, or your backpack or some other thing to just give you a little bit more air. But basically, if you're setting up your Jervan bag in this configuration, you're okay with being a little bit stuffy because it probably means that the weather is fairly dreadful. Um, so that's the, uh, the the truly fully buttoned up uh, version of it. And then the, the the last thing I want to show you is actually the way that I usually set it up, which is just for comfort and to look at the stars and to be ready for uh, bad weather, but basically um, uh, just to enjoy not having a tarp over my head. The other benefit of this is that it really very much reduces uh, condensation. If you, uh, if you don't have a tarp over your head, if you don't have a cover, all this damp, warm stuff can go up and uh, be lost to the, the cool air in the sky and it makes the morning situation much better. So, I'm going to show you that setup and that will be it. A uh, very, very versatile system for the summer. This is the Jervan bag set up in my favorite uh, configuration for the hammock, which is really predominantly because A, it's really simple, B, it gives you most uh, flexibility and lots of uh, visibility to the stars, it reduces the condensation and it just keeps you warm enough. Um, also if you know how it is that I always like to set myself up so that if the weather gets really bad at night I can quickly uh, sort myself out so I become rainproof. In this setup it's really easy. Um, just flip the tarp around or close all the zips and you're good. So, Jervan bag, the light liner is zipped into it, just zipped open or closed here, it doesn't really matter. Usually what I also do is I hang my little backpack on here uh, to just keep it, make it a little bit of space, but basically here you've got lots of, um, lots of room, you, you're open to the stars, if you find the thing to be a bit uh, if, uh, a bit too constraining, you can always just uh, poke a stick in here or put something in between. This has got some neat little loops on the side here to do just that. Um, if you end up getting too cold, of course, you just pull the zipper closed, and that way the whole uh, you can regulate how warm or cold it's going to be. So, zipper mostly closed. Um, of course, you can also uh, button the whole thing up back into a bunker uh, very, very quickly if you need to. So, to summarize, um, Jervan bag exclusive, zippable uh, liners, heavy and light, um, use, the, use the liner as an underquilt, use the tarp as a tarp, but also as a, as a bunker, and the advantages of the Jervan bag uh, that you can use it as a poncho, uh, insulated tent, uh, bivy bag and all the rest of it. So for me, this is the way to go. I don't need to take a warm jacket, don't take a sleeping bag, don't take a poncho. I sometimes take a light shell, but with this you don't really need to. 
Um, don't have to take a tarp, don't have to take anything but this particular uh, setup. So hope you like it. I think you'll see it uh, quite a bit this summer. I'm, I'm intending to spend quite a bit of time sleeping out. And uh, this setup is basically easy. EDC. See you guys later and enjoy the nature.